Hello guys, how are you doing? Uh, IOTG here. I'm a little sick, so I apologize if I cough or sneeze in your ears. Uh, okay, uh, some people requested that I make a RuneScape mouse keys guide, so here it is. In this video I will show you what mouse keys are, how I set them up and how I utilize them in RuneScape. Mouse keys basically allow you to navigate your mouse pointer with the numpad keys on your keyboard. You can set the pointer to jump certain distance by only pressing a key, which speeds up activities that have to do with drop down menus like dropping items or banking and withdrawing, or repeated clicking like hiaking or thieving. So let's go through the options of setting mouse keys to work. First I have to point out that I'm using Windows 7. If you use another operating system, settings for you might be a little different. <coughs> Okay, you find these by uh, clicking start and typing in keyboard in the search field. Then click change how your keyboard works. There you see sticky keys and mouse keys. Let's start with uh, sticky keys because you have to configure them only one time. Uh, this is where you enable them. Then this is the keyboard shortcut. You press shift five times and they, they get activated, which this is very useful. Uh, in order for mouse keys to work, uh, we need to have the control key pressed down all the time. So that's what sticky keys does for us. By clicking, uh, by ena enabling this option and then pressing control two times, uh, sticky keys will uh, hold down the control key for us. And this is the icon of sticky keys for your taskbar. That's also useful for easy access. <coughs> Let's move on to mouse key settings over here. Uh, you turn them on from here. This is the keyboard shortcut, how you enable them. This slider controls the distance that your pointer jumps. The slider below that, I'm not really sure exactly. Then this has to be selected for the jump to work. And this is enabling mouse, key, uh, enabling mouse keys by pressing the numlock on or off and the icon for the taskbar. And one last option is actually the options of your mouse. You find that in control panel. So uh, this is what we need. This has to be unclicked, it's very important. And we also sometimes play with this slider to uh, modify what we want from mouse keys. So first we're going to talk about uh, using the second option menu from from the drop down uh, menus in RuneScape uh, which basically allows us to drop items or uh, empty pouches for runecrafting etc. Uh, we show mouse keys options again. This is the setup how the sliders are set, are set in order for it to work. Take a good look and uh, do it exactly as it's shown. Also from the mouse properties the pointer speed has to be exactly here. So I'll give you some examples now how it works in game. We're gonna withdraw some materials that we will drop. So uh, you should see the sticky keys and the mouse keys uh, icon in your taskbar and now we, all we have to do is press control two times and sticky keys will lock it down and now what we do the combination is for dropping items is uh, right click with the mouse press 5 and then press uh, no uh, right click with the mouse press 2 which moves the cursor down and then press 5 which is the left click of, of the mouse and you drop it right click 2, 5. Right click 2, 5. And if you do this fast enough, I mean it takes some practice, but uh, once you get the hold of it, you can actually bro uh, drop the uh, whole inventory pretty fast. Um, it's a little laggy for me because I'm recording. It's, it, it's much better when there's like no lag. So this is how you drop items. Another useful uh, method is with pouches. It's also the second option of the drop-down menu. 
It's for filling pouches, uh, filling up pouches. No, actually emptying them. Filling them up is just clicking on them. So let's get some essence. You fill them up, and come on! Oh, that one was full. Okay. So right click. See how fast it is. Right click two five. Right click two five. Okay. Now we're going to set it up for reaching the third option of the menu. We're gonna do this by uh, going into options again, into mouse keys options. Over here. Uh, one second. Mouse keys. Now we're gonna change this back here. We're gonna move this back a little bit. And this stays the same. You click apply and it goes to your mouse options. You go to pointer options and you move this like over here. And you click apply. So if we see this in game, one second. To see this in game, we're going to do and go and do some construction. So let's get some stuff for construction. Hammer, saw, money. Okay, teletab. Off we go. <coughs> so remember, we set it up so the, the pointer jumps down to the third option of the drop down menu. That will allow us to uh, speed up construction, for example. Basically, that's what I use uh, mouse keys for. Is either for dropping items while I mine or fish or woodcut or for construction. I don't really use them for room crafting, I never use them for room crafting, but uh, a lot of people do, so you can uh, do that too. So we enable mouse keys. And basically, take a look. Right click, two, five, and you you get the building option. Oh, we have to, yeah, we have to. We need some planks first. Go fetch some planks, buddy. Mahogany planks. Yeah, twenty six. I think it was. Okay. He'll be right back. So there we go, right click 2.5 and we got the option. And then again right right click 2.5 and we remove. Right click 2.5, we got the option. And right click 2.5, we remove. As you can see, you can also resize your window so you know everything is much closer. So it gets much faster. So as you can see this takes off a lot of you know a lot of pain on the hand. Because a lot of the movements are made by just pressing two keys on your numpad and it's it's just so fast yeah so this is basically it the two the, the two settings I use it's um, I can't really think of anything else there are some methods for cooking with mouse keys but they require a lot of fast clicking and I'm not really into that kind of stuff. So I'm glad this helps and uh, if you have you know if you have some things to add if you have your own methods some different settings uh, I'll be glad to uh, hear from you just uh, post a comment or a video response and I'll put it up for everyone to see. I guess that's it. 
So, good luck to everyone and uh, happy runescaping. <laughs>